completing the square. Now, I know that there is a method that you use in completing the square, but you would have to practice it a lot in order to remember that method and it's one of the most difficult topics in math, alright? Trying to remember how to do the completing the square. But let's look at it from, let's look at it here, from using geometry. I want to examine this completing the square business using geometry. Now, what is a square? Well, you know that it has four sides. You have 90 degrees on each side. And the length of each side is the same. 90 degrees um, angles. The internal angles are all equal to 90 degrees. Alright? Now, if you need to complete the square, then it means that the square is not complete. What does an incomplete square look like? The other thing is, sometimes they call it a perfect square. You will need to form a perfect square. Now, if the square is not perfect, then it means that you had an imperfect square. What does that imperfect square look like? Hmm. Now, let me look at a square. Let us say that this here is my square. Alright? This is my square here. It look doesn't nothing doesn't seem to be wrong with it. It looks like a complete square. Looks like a perfect square. Alright? Let me put on some dimensions. Let us see that my square here is x units long. The or the width, the width of it is x, and the height is x. So it's from here to here is x, from here to here is x. All right. Let me get rid of these lines. Lines. I don't want it too crowded, but you get the idea. <coughs> What's the area of this square? Of course, the area is x multiplied by x, which gives you x squared. Good. No problem. <coughs> now, let us see. Uh, let me get rid of these x squared business. You know that the area is x squared. Let us see. For example, giving an example now using numbers. You know, if you had been studying the perfect square and completing the square already, that when you have x squared plus, let's say, 6x, you need to add something to this. To make it a perfect square to complete the square now what is it you add you would have learned that you must add half the coefficient of x and square it the half the coefficient of x squared the coefficient of x means the number that multiplies x so the 6 here is the coefficient of x half of 6 is 3 you had you add 3 and then that squared all right so if you did completing the square before you know that in order to complete this this is your incomplete square and in order to complete it you must add this so it makes a complete square in other words a perfect square now, the question is, what does this 6x business look like? Alright, 
Now here we have our, our x squared. And the, this represents an area. The x squared that we have is the area of this square. x multiplied by x gives x squared. Let's look at this 6x part. This 6x part, what we want to see what it is. Now, let's see. We don't have a square here anymore. We have a rectangle. Alright? So I am forming a rectangle. I want this to be a rectangle. Why is it that this thing is not giving me what I want? Alright, good. I want this to be a rectangle that is the same height as my square here. Mm, does that look close enough? Alright, good. This is my rectangle. Now, here, I want another one. I want this rectangle to be around the same width as my square. Good. Not yet, not yet. I want it closer to that width. I need to get this, this part out a little more. Nice good let me get this closer to this too here what is the width of my rectangle here of course you can see that this rectangle is this the width of this rectangle from here to here is the same as the width of my square so this width is x and the height of my Rectangle. This other rectangle is the same as the height of my square. It is also x. Remember, you know, x, the height was from here to here on my square. The same height from here to here on my rectangle. The width of my square is from here to here. The width of my rectangle down here is also from here to here. Now, I know that the area of my square is x squared, which is this part. I have a shape in which the area is x squared plus 6x. Now, what it means it is that I want this rectangle the area of this rectangle plus the area of this rectangle to be 6x. Therefore, the width of my rectangle here would have to be 3. So, 3 multiplied by x gives me 3x. This rectangle, the height of it, is 3. And I have 3 multiplied by x gives me 3x. Alright? So therefore, I have a shape whose total area is here x squared. It is x squared plus 3x. Not 3x here. This was the second one I did. Plus 3x. Plus 3x. Okay, giving me x squared plus 6x. Alright, this is what I had up here first. But they're telling me that this is an incomplete square. I need to add something here to make a perfect square. Now, let me take 
my rectangle here and move it to touch my original square and my rectangle here I want to move this to touch my original square here all right now this x squared plus 6x is the area of this whole shape that I have now let me get rid of some of these things that I drew before I don't want this screen to be too crowded so let me get rid of this and let me get rid of this here all these lines lines they can crowd my screen too much all right now <coughs> you are of the understanding this x is the height from here to here this x is the width from here to here this x squared is the area of my rectangle of my square let me put a few markings here I want to shade my various areas all right so this is my square the area of my square is this the area of my rectangle here shaded area is this and the area of my rectangle down here let me use a different color to shade my other rectangle the area of my rectangle here is this nice so I have three shapes a square a rectangle a rectangle but this whole thing this whole thing all the way around it seems as if it's forming a square but the square is incomplete now why is the square incomplete because I'm missing something here I am missing what should come here something should come here so therefore what I have here is an incomplete square imperfect square so I want to put a little thing right in here now I want to put a little shape right here so I have this nice have this it's a square you know this is a square what I just put here is a square all right now what are the dimensions of this little square I have put in the corner by the way you notice that all the way here now all the way here let me put it in black all the way here is the same as the the height of this let's see why the distance from here to here is X the distance from here to here is X what's the distance that I should have to continue to make it all the way down to the bottom of the shape it is 3 if I should go like this you notice it's the same height as this it is 3 examine it carefully and you see remember my X here was from here to here and my 3 is from here to here so if this height is 3 this height is also 3 all right so therefore the height of this little square I have put down here the height of that is 3 question is what is the width of it from here to here my little new square here that I put here what is the width you notice 
my x was from here to here. My 3 is from here to here. So therefore, this width is 3 is the same as this. It is 3. You see that? Now, my little square here, what's the area? The area of my little square here is 3 multiplied by 3. My square, my little square here is what I added to complete this whole square to make it a perfect square because it was missing and I added it and the, the square now is complete. What's the area of it? It is 3 wide by 3 high which is you know 3 square it is 3 square the area of this is 3 square so I've added 3 square so I put 3 squared so I'd put plus 3 square so I now have a perfect square is x squared plus 6 x plus 3 squared is 9 that now forms a perfect square so remember now my imperfect square was I want this to be a little thicker my imperfect square I'm missing some of the points here my imperfect square was this and in order to my incomplete square also, I could say, was this. And in order to complete this square, I added this. Alright? So, this little square I put in the corner here completed the square and it was 9. So, this is one example showing you geometrically what the imperfect or the incomplete square looks like it's really a square which is x square with two rectangles and the dimensions of the rectangles are x by half the coefficient of x all right in my case i had 6x but it means that there are two rectangles. One of them is 3x and the other is 3x. The area, 3x and 3x. So you had half the coefficient of x because there are two rectangles that make up the 6x. One of them is 3 by x and the other one is 3 by x. Now what I added to complete the square is this little square in the corner here. It is 3 wide by 3 high. So, it is 3 squared. And that now completed the square by... It completed the square by filling in the missing space in this corner. It is 3 squared.